This photo shows a man crushed underneath a Toyota Prius in an auto repair lot in Anaheim after police say he was trying to steal the car's catalytic converter overnight. The jack that he used to lift up the vehicle failed and the car came down on top of him, uh, unfortunately crushing him and, and causing his death. Police found his tools he had left behind under the car, which belongs to Wilmar Rodriguez's building company. It's just unfortunate that that situation had to happen. Several business owners here say this is not the first time thieves have stolen their catalytic converters, which is a costly critical emissions control device that can be sawed off from the belly of a car in minutes and contains precious metals. A woman who had her catalytic converter stolen. Well, that's right, Mian. Police tell us it all started here. Thieves were trying to steal the catalytic converter from this truck. They nearly got away. That's when an unidentified person approached them and shot at them. Angelica Reyes said she heard the shooting and went outside to tell police what she heard. But then she noticed police were surrounding her truck. Turns out thieves had stolen her catalytic converter. Police tell us they were trying to get away when someone approached them and began firing shots. MW and took off, but crashed into another car. Police say they all got out of the BMW, but one man collapsed and died here on the street. Police say the man killed was with a group and they were inside that BMW stealing catalytic converters from cars on this street before the shooting. Detectives opened that trunk and found at least three of them inside. They say that group, they were stealing catalytic converters on Spring Rock and Long Point Drive at about 6.30 this morning. At some point, police say someone opened fire on the group and as they were trying to get away, they hit another vehicle and then crashed into this fence. Witnesses say several men ran away from the car. Car. One of them collapsed in the street and died. The shooter took off. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Recha HaKwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. Also, sincere shalom to your other elders, your brethren, your Akim. Also, let me say shalom mainly to the elect. Um, I want to go in this video here because um, this is something has been known to been going around okay where jake will <laughs> climb up under your car while you sleep and uh cut your catal catalyst converter off and it's it, it converts catal uh, uh emissions that's why it's called a catalyst converter it, it can converts um you know i'm not gonna go into a lesson with um car you know mechanics or whatever but you know when you're dealing with fuel and combustion you're dealing with fire and fire gives off carbon monoxide so to you know to clean the air so to speak they put these things on the bottom of your car to convert bad emissions to good to good air quality and it's got um, all kinds of uh, metals um, expensive metals that are built into these catalytic converters to help convert um, bad emissions like like platinum and ver you know various other metals and what they'll do is they cut these things off and then you'll go <laughs> start your car up in the morning and it sounds like a truck because it also quiets your car but the muffler is actually what quiet it but these converters are set to um, help clean fuel, burn clean fuel. And these guys, they'll go around and cut these converters off and make, depending on the car, if like a, a Lexus or Mercedes or some Fords, you could make uh, $1,000 off one converter and sometimes more. So they get their saws on, get up under your car, especially if you got a high set car, a truck. They got that thing in a minute because the pipes are easy to cut. So this is what's been happening. And then you had this Jake. They was going around making a hustle doing it. And the most high got them. Right? Let me get a scripture real quick. Uh, Ecclesiastes uh, 8 and 11. Uh, 8 and 11. It says, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Therefore, the hearts of the son of man is fully set in them to do evil. So these guys has probably been going around doing it 
over and over and over again. In fact, um, when I went to the salvage yard some years ago, going back and forth, there was a Jake under the bottom going to the junkyard cutting them off. And one of them, as he was cutting it off, the car fell on him, right? And he laid there the whole night with the car on him, right? So he had died, and they came and checked. I guess somebody went over there days later, and he was stuck under the car because that's what you get, you know? Just wickedness, man. And the Most High could have jacked any one of us up for something like that. You know? That's why the, the scriptures are in place. Everybody talking about they, they, the Bible isn't real. The Bible's fake. You know why y'all say it's fake? Because y'all want to continue to do your wickedness. You're sodish, which means an habitual drunkard. You know? You're sodish. You want to keep doing what you want to keep doing. See, when something comes against the grain of what somebody likes the first thing they're going to do is find a reason not to uh, indulge in it okay uh, Exodus 20 and 15 says thou shalt not steal right and all the laws is in there thou shalt not cover thy neighbor's house covet thy neighbor's house thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife so you're not supposed to want anything of a, of a, of a brother but you got so much hatred in Jake and then Jake will go into the Israelite neighborhoods and do that. He won't go way out, you know, in those suburbs and do that, you know. That's why Jake gets what he gets. See, the Lord ultimately judged him. Okay? And then the other ones, they're going to have to go to jail for a minute with those felony charges, man. How ironic in a drive-by, they shooting and spraying, or they shooting at him. I don't know what happened. But they under Jake's cars cutting off catalytic converters, man. Anyway, for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh. And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? Right? So we, we catching hell. And we, we, we obeying the gospel of the Most High in His Son. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Right? We obey in the gospel. But do you got these guys, when we out there on the hedges telling them to do right? See, there's no excuse now, especially since the internet hit. We had our teachers up north, I mean, up New York, and kind of located to a few different spots. All the truth was kind of getting out. But then the internet came about, and you got all the brothers on damn near in every city. And if they're not on the city, they're on YouTube. You would think that Jake would get it, but Jake won't get it. And that same guy who who did it may have passed by a camp. And the Lord got him. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. Nor, it says, uh, let me see, 6 and 9. 1 Corinthians 6 and 9. It says which we read this a lot. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. That's why Paul said the law was given for the unrighteous. Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, you know, following these different philosophies or messing with other men's wives and their vehicles, man. Nor effeminate, faithless, nor abusers of themselves with mankind, Right? nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revealers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of Yahweh. And that's what these guys do. The Most High put us in captivity. You're going to have to deal with it till the Most High sends his son to deliver us from it. But you guys, you want to make it. A lot of you Israelites, you want to make it. You got the general who would get this guy and just send them to another path of, of, of uh, destruction. Anyway. Um, there's not much to say on that. I just wanted to touch on that. That um, the, most high, the most high got his ass for being wicked. You, cut, you, you, you go to sleep. And Jake either breaking in your car. Breaking your home. Cutting off exhaust pipes. Man this is madness man. 
That's complete madness. And some of them probably was addicts, you know, trying to get the next fix. You got to know in that kind of behavior, everything comes to an end. You, you, you don't make it. You will get caught. Whether by crossfire, by the, or by the bullet, or whether by um, incarceration. But you cause people so much trouble and harm, man. You know, you can't just go hustle up some other way and, and get the money to feed whatever it is you got going on, man. You got to take the easy way and cut off people's exhaust pipes. <laughs> and now he got cut down. 